Hello, today we're going to go over five questions frequently asked in Black Desert. These are questions that I've seen on server chat numerous times, and I've answered them numerous times. So, I thought I'd make a video. So if you guys are watching and enjoy, smash that like button. Let's get into it. For the first and most common question, I guess I should say, um, is how to assign potions and other items to your hotbar or to your wheel. So to do that, we're going to press start, and we're going to go ahead on down to ring menu setting. It's just right here. I'll pause a minute. We're going to click on that, and you'll have something that looks like this pop up. Now, to start with, we're doing the left on the D-pad, which would be like where your HP pot would have been when you started. And we're going to assign a potion, pressing A, and then we're going to go to the up slot. I know this sounds weird, but trust me, this works. So now that we got our HP pot assigned, we need to go over to the right on the D-pad. By doing that, we'll press right trigger. Now we have switched to the right on the D-pad, and we will go ahead and assign our mana potion. And just like that, you have assigned your mana potion. Now you can do this for any of your wheels. As you'll see here, I'll cycle through them. As you can see here, I have my rope for taming horses. And yeah, I hope this helps. Let's move on to the next one. For the next question we're going to go over is how to feed our workers. Um, this is a really common question in chat, and I see it quite often. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So once you have obtained your beer from the marketplace or crafted it yourself, we're going to go ahead and open our inventory. And we are going to go to our selected beer. We're going to select beer as highlighted. And we're going to go ahead and press A on it. And now a worker menu will show up. And this will be our workers that are currently working or waiting. Um, and you just uh, pick the worker that you'd want to feed your beer to increase their stamina. And we're going to click on this goblin. And it'll come up telling you to select item to use in stamina recovery. It says I have 10 beers. It goes up plus 2 per um, and we're just going to go ahead and confirm that. If you need to use multiple beer, then press X to recover all. But if you just need to do it once, like my worker you've seen, didn't have that much missing. So we're going to go ahead and use one beer. And just like that, that worker is now at full stamina. Alright, let's move on to the next one. The next question that I get is how to use simple alchemy. Now this is required during one of the quest lines. Um, it's to exchange three small potions for one medium potion and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now if you don't have three small potions this works with small, mediums, or larges. You can upgrade them using three of each to go up. So visit your local general goods vendor to pick up three potions if you don't already have them. If you have them then you'll want to back out and press left trigger and up on the pad. Go to processing go over to simple alchemy just press A and then select your small potions and go ahead and press confirm which is Y and go ahead and press Y to start it <coughs> now this could take a few moments it might tell you the processing is going wrong but don't be alarmed that just means it it reset itself like right there said it's not going as planned um, but don't be alarmed just let it keep running. This is a great AFK way um, if you have to use the restroom or do something else in real life. And any moment now. <laughs> and there we go. We've made our potion. And now this will complete your quest and you'll be good to go. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So for the next common question we're going to go over is where to find wild horses. Now this is a really big one because a lot of people want to tame their own to get better tiered horses. And yeah, so so I'm going to show you on the map now where I go to find them. We're going to open up world map and I go right here, just right behind me where I'm at now. Um, you can see that I helped this person just a little bit ago. They're really cool about it and um, I told them they could stay if they wanted. But yeah, so you see all these places that are around, I'll hold the screen a minute and let you guys look so you guys can see whereabouts I am. I'm just south of Heidel. Here you 
go. Zoom out, it's too far. <clears throat> and I'm just down here in the wood line. And you could probably see there's a couple wild horses behind me now. There's a white one, um, and there's a brown one. So they're kind of common. You might not see them always from the road, but you might have to push up into the woods. But it's usually around five, maybe six. Um, and I believe it's a few hour respawn time. Like five of them will respawn in like a couple hours. Um, but yeah, there's three horses here alone. There's two brown ones and a white one. And then sometimes if you push over this little ridge right here in front of me, um, there's like two or three more. So, yeah, I hope this helps. For the next question we're going to go over is how to tame wild horses. Now, before we do that, we need to make sure we have at least three things. We need to have at least level five beginner in the training tab of our life skills. We need to have at least eight rope and the lumps of raw sugar are not always a bad thing to have now you can buy these on the marketplace or you can craft them yourself using 10 raw sugar and one mineral water I brought enough to make 10 batches if I wished um, now the sugars aren't needed but it will make it easier so Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight in to actually taming one of these horses. Okay, so here we have a wild horse. Now if you haven't already, I suggest going back to the beginning of the video where I explained how to put items on your wheels on your hotbar. So if you have them, um, you want to go ahead and pull out your rope. You can do this from the inventory. This is just a little bit quicker method. And... Uh, and we're going to walk up to this horse, and we'll get this little red hit marker. We're going to press RB and A in that little blue box, and now we're just going to walk toward it. It might not always be this easy. There we go. You'll have these little tug-of-war games to play, and the more times you play it, the better chance of the capture working. So we're going to head and get this close. Once we're this close, we're going to press Y. We're not going to hold it. We're going to go to use item. Now we'll hold it. And we'll go ahead and give it a lump of sugar. Let's go ahead and back out our inventory. And now we'll go ahead and try to mount it. And there we go. We've tamed a horse. Now it won't always be this easy, but you just have to keep trying. And the higher skill you have, the better chance of taming it you'll get. If this video helped you at all and you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe. Thanks for watching.